Hey everybody, Super Jacob here with Iron Wire Martial Arts. Today I want to talk about the three uh, most impactful studies in all of martial arts, in my opinion. Um, number one is sets, uh, forms, also known as taolus. Number two is uh, drills, um, prearranged combative formations, um, or spontaneous at times. And number three is sparring. If you're good at those three, and if you practice those three, in my opinion, you're gonna go very far in the martial arts. And I'm gonna tell you why. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so we can go into great detail on forms, uh, drills, and sparring. But I wanna keep each segment brief and just get straight to the point, otherwise this video is gonna take forever. So, number one, forms. It fills your Kung Fu, it fills your martial art, it gives you uh, power, it feeds your, your, your limbs, your body, uh, your mind, um, and, 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 and through repetition, you develop again, power. Uh, you don't have empty martial arts. And that's what you're looking for. And it teaches you movements that can be triggered um, in situational type of combat. You gotta know how to extract it and weaponize it though if you're actually gonna use it and make it effective. Otherwise it won't work. So you gotta know that and you gotta know what you're doing. And you gotta do it purposefully. And you have to have an understanding. Let's get into it, okay? For example, when you see stuff like this in Kung Fu, you go, Number one, it looks all good. It looks great. But if you don't know how to use it and what you're doing, it doesn't do anything. Number one, let's just go over the first thing. It taught me power, okay? It taught me movement, okay? Now let's get into the third thing, concepts. These tiger, okay? Pain makes somebody react. When you grab somebody's arm, they're gonna focus there. If you grab somebody here, they're gonna focus here. Go to the eyes, somebody's gonna react. Tiger style martial arts is made to control the limbs. Grab the limbs, tear the flesh, etc. It's got a lot of usage, so boom. Somebody's got their guard up. I'm coming, I'm grabbing this guard. Just cross. There's a lot of other things you can do with it. That's just one example. If I'm going to trip somebody here, get the hand out of the way, pops out, grab, and go for the lower arm. Trip. This is teaching me the concept of grabbing, breaking, or just driving this elbow. It's teaching me how to use that. Power. So these are concepts. You gotta take them apart and know how to use them if they're gonna be effective. But ging, ging, or jing, J I N G or G I N G, look it up, practice it. It's the quickest way to develop good kung fu, best power, repetition, over and over and over, ingrain this stuff. Sets are important. Let's go to the next subject. Let's get into the importance of drills. Drills take everything that you've learned from sets and they put it into direct practical application with the person standing right in front of you. Now this is extremely important because it's gonna desensitize you uh, and train you, train your natural reactions, your subconscious, uh, how to act in times of danger and how to act against different angles. For example, let's say you're practicing a drill. This, you gotta learn what to do if somebody is using this angle. You gotta learn what to do, somebody using this angle, or this. How do you deal against this? Against this. Now, what is a drill? Number one, a lot of the times, they're gonna be weaponized sequences. For example, somebody's throwing the jab, and I decide to, to make an entry off the jab, at least for this drill. 
Okay, somebody's throwing that jab. I'm gonna. Okay, that's my entry. So now I'm drilling it. I'm preparing myself. I'm working situations. Even if he pulls the jab back, I miss. It's coming in for the trap. Collapsing. Come down here. This other arm's coming. Sink it. Work this angle. Work the center line. These are weaponized sequences. Okay? That's usually what drills are. Okay? Forcing a reaction. Somebody throws an uppercut. My drill is to lean back, issue power, sidestep. Okay? Those are my drills. So before a fight even begins, before a martial artist, whether it's in the street or in the ring, we have prepared sequences on what to do against almost every angle of attack. And we train over and over and over. And we drill it over and over and over. And we practice it just as good as the sets, hypothetically speaking. So you want to be even in sets, drills, and sparring. So that's my introduction to drills. I hope you find it useful. Weaponized sequences against every angle of attack. And somebody's directly in front of you. It's taking the power like this is whipping power or short power or things like this. So now somebody's gonna be in front of me, he's gonna have to react. And he throws it back and I throw. That's what all this stuff is. We create drills, okay? Hope you found that useful. You can one more thing, you can create drills on the lower art, you can take drills on takedowns, you can take drills on trapping, grabbing, and all the different manifestations of combat. I hope you found that useful. Let's get on to sparring. Get up, boom, or boom, they're hitting me back, and they're shielding, and they're moving. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, guys, let's jump into sparring. Sparring, number one, is unrehearsed. He or she doesn't know what I'm gonna do, and I don't know what they're gonna do. Uh, distance, reaction, timing, everything that they've learned from drills, uh, weaponized sequences, and or uh, sets, power, is going to come into play here. Because you could have all the power in the world, but if I learn how to, when we're in the pocket, just get away from it, evade it, dodge it, it's going to be like hitting there. And all that power you had, you got to know what it's like to try to hit somebody and be hit in return. You gotta know what it's like to be countered. You gotta know what it's like when I try to go in on somebody and hit them, boom, or boom, they're hitting me back. And they're shielding, and they're moving. You know what I'm saying? So sparring takes everything that you've learned and puts it together, but it's a science. You gotta know the defense against all the strikes. Somebody's throwing a kick, somebody's throwing, you know, you gotta learn how to defend against all of it, number one, and then you gotta learn how to counter it um, it's not just going in there and beating people up. And you don't want to do it to the point where you're just getting beat up because then you're not learning anything. Sparring uh, teaches you so much, but uh, you, you got to learn what it's for and you got to know its limitations. Okay? It's, you know, we're not hitting vital points. We're not just here to beat people up. We're here to learn something. Sometimes it's important to spar hard. Uh, other times it's important to just train something. Today I'm going to train how to move. Okay, this person's coming in, I'm gonna train how to move. Today I'm gonna learn how to weather the storm. Okay, today I'm gonna learn counters. Okay, so we're, we're always constantly trying to learn something. What I would recommend lastly is do it against big people, small people, uh, somebody who's faster, somebody who's stronger. There's a strategy, no matter who you fight or train with, there's a strategy to defeat everybody. And, and, and you gotta put your ego aside, uh, especially a teacher, because you're not invincible. Uh, if you're going to spar with your students, um, everybody gets hit. We're here to learn. It's not about uh, being the best. That's the wrong psychology. We're all here to train, learn, and take our game experience and knowledge to the next level. Okay? I um, hope you found that useful. And feel free to reach out to me as always, anytime. See you from Jacob Bernand, Iron Wire Martial Arts.